Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect your disabled iPhone to iTunes without the home button. Whether or not you have a home button which isn't working or you have an iPhone which does not have a home button at all, these steps which I'll be showing are fully working, so let's get right into it. Moving to the computer, if you have a Windows computer only, make sure you have downloaded iTunes. If you haven't, head over to apple.com forward slash iTunes. Scroll all the way down and while you see looking for other versions, just click on Windows, download iTunes for Windows Now, 64-bit, install iTunes, and then afterwards, you must restart your computer, okay? If you don't do the restart, uh, your device will not be recognized. Now, we need to download the Ryboot software. This is completely for fr uh, free, okay? So you see for Mac, and if you have Windows, just click on for Windows. So we'll click on the download button here, and we just need to wait for the Ryboot software to finish downloading. Once Ryboot has finished, click on the DMG, or it will be EXE for Windows. Drag and drop the software into the Applications folder. And then, once you've done this, we can double click into Applications. We're going to find where it says Ryboot. We'll right click, open, open again, and we'll just close out this website here. And you can see the Ryboot application has opened up. So you see here, enter recovery mode free. Before you do this, I'm gonna show you what to do on the device itself. On the device itself, you just want to connect it to the computer, okay? So I've done this like so. Now I have a USB-C device, so I've connected uh, a USB-C adapter, which allows me to use my USB-A charging cable. And once you have everything connected, you're just gonna click on enter recovery mode. And you'll see entering recovery mode, please wait. So we didn't need to use the home button. You can see the Apple logo showing up and it's entered recovery mode successfully. So once you've done this here, you should see the Finder app or iTunes show up. But real quick, let's backtrack. So if this didn't work and your iPhone did not enter recovery mode, you just want to restart your computer and then try again, okay? That will 100% solve the issue. So from here, you may see there is a problem. Just click on the restore button or click on cancel. And let's move here. It says your Mac is currently downloading the software. So I think it's glitched. I'm gonna restart and then try again. Okay, I've restarted my computer. So let's reopen the iTunes app or Finder. And we should see our iPhone. So let's click on it. And if you get this error, just click on okay. So what we need to do here is we just need to click on the restore iPhone option. So what this is gonna do is it's going to make your iPhone how it was when you first got the device. So what that means is you will lose all of the data in the iPhone, okay? If you did create a backup and I to the past, you can restore that backup. If you created a iCloud backup, you can also restore that. And after you do restore the backup, it won't use your old passcode, okay? If you did not create a backup, then you just want to keep on trying the passcode. And if you do not know your passcode, unfortunately, all of the data on your device will be lost. Now, Apple has anti-theft protection. So if you signed in to your Apple ID account in the past, then it will ask for that information after you click on restore here. If you do not remember your Apple ID password, then I would personally not recommend doing a factory data reset. Uh, the reason why is because you will not be able to use your iPhone, okay? So just click on restore here, and you'll see this message. Just click on restore and update, and then you'll see next, agree, and wait for this to finish. So now it's gonna download the software update. Once the software update is downloaded, your iPhone is going to factory reset. Because this is a free gigabyte download, I'm gonna end the video here, but you'll be brought to the hello screen and you can set up your iPhone like it was brand new and the passcode will be removed like so. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye-bye.